Okay. Hey. Hey, yo. Uh, it's time to get serious about this carburetor fitting project. It's time to get serious. Uh, we've got it done. And I'm going to present this. I'm going to present this out there on the radio land for grade. Just leave a comment to what you think my grade should be. It's time to get serious. We're going to assemble this this project here, this blueprint. And and if you check back on the videos with these numbers right here, you can actually build one of these with no additional information. The, the carburetor body here, on closer examination, it's been repaired before. It's been broken kind of bad in this area. And somebody has built that up with brass. They've brazed it all around up on the top here. And half of this is gone. And, and then it made this flat again. It was, it was a really good repair, but I did notice that as I was cutting this slot here so that this thing right here will fit in there. Oh, let's put it together. Let's, they ain't no need to fool around. And this is one of those times when if you don't have any gasola, then don't go no further. Right now, if you are working on a carburetor, a mixer, and you don't have any gasola, uh, I would say it would be to your advantage to stop, stop immediately, go no further. Uh, does, uh, this is necessary, gasola, uh, just a little bit, not much. Use it sparingly and it will, it'll, it will last a long time. A very thin coat there and there. And right here's the gasket. I'm going to put it on. I've done already cut it because I know y'all was coming. I put it on yonder, and now we're going to put it in that hole right there. But I'm going to tell you something about this first. The the needle valve that we that I needed to go in here, I, I'll explain this to you. You're actually going to learn something. You'll be smarter when you get done with this video. Uh, this right here is a, this is a needle valve out of McCormick Darren M, one and a half horsepower. And I don't remember, I think the handle got broke off of it. I had it in the parts box over there, and I happen to remember it, that it would probably work here. So what I've done is I turned the small size down here. I turned that down a little bit more. I didn't measure it. I just turned it down some and said that's good. Because it's got to go in a hole of a number seven. Right here it is. This is a number six drill. Okay, that's the big hole, and this goes up in it there. There's plenty of ample room around it. So I had to do it. And then I threaded it a little bit more right here so it would go deeper down in the hole right like this right here. And then you remember we threaded the inside this fitting right here. I done put it in there with some gasola, and I done put this bottom fitting in here with some gasola. Those are permanent. They won't have to be moved again. This, uh, and the needle valve is threaded quarter 20 and yonder. That's good enough. Okay, we, we're going to put it together. And, and then I cut that off just now and put this handle on it. I already had that made, and it worked perfectly here. It was a little deviation from the blueprint, and you can do this right here and have great success at it. This right here goes on here, right like that. The oh, What I did is I actually found a spring over there, a small spring to go right here, so it will put your... You actually want to have this needle valve in tension. This one will be in tension twice. One with the spring pushing outwards on it, exerting uh, just the medium, immediate pressure on the outside. And then what I'm going to do is put this in right here like this right here and start that up right there. And while I've got working room, I, I got this uh, Teflon tape. It's the good stuff. It costs a lot of money. Uh, the... Re the the reason I got it is because you actually get what you pay for. When it comes to the Teflon tape, if you buy that cheap stuff, it's not as thick. So you actually think you're getting something until you got home and there's nothing on your thing. So you, you see what I've done? I put I went around that right there a few, I'm going to say three. Uh, you probably didn't see that. I, I just did it uh, like three revolutions. I'm going to snip it off right there. Save this piece. That's good enough for another one. Uh, get that in over there. Overlap it like that. Get that up on there and start. That's taking the place. That's taking the place of that. Uh, that there, ferrule, it was in there. 
we took that out and we, we, we put that Teflon in there, okay? And we're going to screw this down here uh, all the way in and then we'll tighten that up on the slick part of the shaft. You actually don't want to, that Teflon to be on threaded, if you can help it, if it's on the slick part, it'll work a lot better. Okay, I'm just going to tighten that about like that. No, it needs a little more. And even, I may have, no, it's pretty good. Yeah, if it's not enough, you can put some more Teflon in there, and it'll tighten up this wheel. But that feels really good. Okay, it bottoms out right there. It bottoms out. And we got, we got like a quarter of an inch under. And uh, I think with this design right here, one of the benefits of that is, is it'll be close to the carburetor, the mixer. It'll work good, I think. Okay, I've got the gasket on yonder. Remember that to yourself. I got the gas solar right there, and I got that gas solar right yonder. Okay, this right here is going to go in right here like that. That's that's where that's going to be at. This uh, for let's guess let's talk about this. The the bottom part that holds that copper tubing in there will have a ferrule on it. Okay, that will always. Uh, it'll be right there, and you want to kind of keep them together too, because they do make uh, some of them ain't right. Okay, we'll, what I'll do is, is when I get it on the engine and put the gas tank on it, I'll stick a copper tubing up in there, and that ferrule will squeeze up on it. Oh, it's brilliant! Ferrules are. And 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 this is the uh, hold down that I made a copy of this one. I mean, it's 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 okay. It's I think it's well. I know it's better here. Okay. Uh, that fits right there like that, and then I got this brass screw, a lock washer, and and that'll go right here. I mean, you have to do this if you've got an engine. I'm just going to tell you how it is. If you've got an engine that needs a, needs a mixer on it, you're going to have to do this. Uh, you may be watching this video and say, "What? Well, 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 why is he doing that?" It's just, I'm just telling you, if you've got one of these that's got a bad mixer on it, I mean, you ought to be out there to shop right now cutting up a piece of metal. Okay? Oh, that feels real good. And I seen that gas all ooze out right in there on that on that fitting. That's what you want. Now, I'm going to take a cloth and get that away from there. And uh, and this angle down here on the bottom, uh, that, that probably is not right. That's a little bit too far forward. Uh, most likely, once I get the gas tank on, it'll be, I'm going to say, that's kind of straight down right there. And, and, and as well as it should be, and I'll show you why. This, the top of that hexagon, well, I actually wanted it to be flat with that mixer right there. So that, uh, so it would look good. And, and you should do the same. Okay, it's kind of time now to leave a comment. I'm actually going to clean that up a little more. That's not good enough. If it's not good enough, don't go no further. It's, it's, uh, and actually what, uh, what this video right here is, now I'm going to put it on the engine. The, the true test will be, you have to get that right down in there. And there's, there's, uh, when it comes out the bottom down right down there. Okay, now, now what you do then, once you get that down in there, is go back and forth, and it'll pick that gas all up on it. I know this is basic, but you got to know it. you got to do it. I, I, it's not that you don't know it. It's just that you actually have to do this right here. You you will have to have a piece of string, just like I got right here. You may think this right here is rubbish, that it's a step that's not necessary. But, I mean, just go ahead. I challenge you right now. Uh, go out there and start working on your own mixer. I mean, I'm talking to one and all. Uh, it's got to be done. Okay, now we got that on there like that. That's tight enough. We, I made this out of brass on the counter construction, and I did shine it up right there a little bit. I'll admit to that. Uh, it had to be done. Uh, but I'm not going to put nothing on it, and in a few days that'll take on a nice patin one of them patin uh, patina. Oh, it'll look real good. I'm not going to put no clear or nothing on it. But I'm going to present this right here as what you see right there. I'm going to present that for a grade. Just leave a comment as to what grade so far. What, give me, it's, I'm going to grade it like a six weeks test. And then in a couple of days, I'm going to put this on the engine. I done already got the gasket cut and everything. We're ready to go. I'm going to put it on the engine, and uh, we're going to start it up. But, I mean, this is enough right now for me to go for a grade. 
I'm here on East Coast, Arkansas. Shop Dog Sam.